Hey guys. Um. So my plan on doing a vlog uh, kind of got messed up by the fact that I lost my camera. Um, I think I left it at a wedding I thought, this weekend. And uh, yeah, it's kind of frustrating when you're like, okay, the thing that I need or the thing that is helping me to get better or to motivate me, I don't have. <laughs> I lost. <clears throat> my throat also kind of hurts because I just haven't been sleeping well. And I have, I think like it said in my last video, cockroaches, but hopefully they're being taken care of. <clears throat> but honestly guys, I'm really tired and look at my place right now. It is an utter disaster. Um, I just, like, part of it is I just had to empty everything on my cupboards because um, of the bugs. And just to be able to spray. And right now I'm tired and... I'm also thinking though about like things about myself that really bother me and just being frustrated like you know like sure I'm tired but you know I was really mean to my boyfriend because he woke me up and I have trouble falling asleep when I wake up and there's things that I can plan ahead to help him with because part of the reason he woke up is you know we were sharing a bed and he said I was hogging the bed so he was trying to make me stop moving so he put his leg on me and it woke me up and I couldn't fall asleep after that. And then he woke me up again. Well, I guess I fell asleep. <laughs> um, he woke me up again to say he's hungry. And his stomach hurts. And part of me is like, really, like, let me sleep another hour. I was really angry. But at the same time, like, I guess I just need to plan ahead. And bring a protein bar, you know. And um, there's always solutions to different problems. It's just sometimes you get overwhelmed. And I'm tired right now. I'm overwhelmed. But... The truth is, like, I really, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to hold a grudge against him. I kept getting upset with him for waking me up. Like, really upset. I kept mentioning it. Another thing I was doing is at the wedding, like, we have to pay money to do our hair and our makeup. And I think I was making a really big deal about it. Like, I don't want to get my hair and makeup. Like, I don't want to pay the extra money to get my makeup done. And then my sister did my makeup and I didn't like it. And then I asked the lady to do it. And, like, I don't know. I feel like the main thing I was upset about is, like, this cheapness or a difficulty to spend money. Like, making such a big deal about it. And I was with my cousin from Australia and she's so generous. Um, and I just noticed that in her. I really want to be generous. Like, I used to be like that when I was younger. Um, I just gave everything away. And there's so much joy in that, and I don't know. I don't know how to change that necessarily. Um, I think part of it is overall just um, being happy, being closer to God, and just like, yeah, living, really living the life, um, being happy with my life. And I think when I can do that, um, I won't cling so tightly to things that don't matter, things like um, money and things like sleep, like, my sleep's important, but, um, it's not worth being angry at someone, you just have to plan ahead and, and try and think logically, and part of the reason I was so tired, it's not his fault, you know, anyway, um, and then, like, just things, that, the wedding, like, things that weren't organized, right, it just really got to me, and then, you know, the breakfast, it was not really a good breakfast when we were there, and, like, I just got scared I wouldn't have enough food, and, I think there's just a lot of fears and a lot of, you know, a lot of things that I don't really think there's anything specific I need to do. I just need, like, God's help. I just need to realize, like, you know, in the middle of chaos and, and feeling overwhelmed, like, maybe I'm afraid that I won't have money or, or that I'll just keep spending money. But I just need to really have faith and, just, and learn to let go. It's a lot easier said than done. And right now, I'm like, how am I even going to advance? I don't even have my camera to help me do vlogs. And I just realized, you know what? I can find another way to do it. There's always another way. You know, you, you can be creative and and find ways to do it. Um, and maybe that's more of a vlog than if I had everything perfect sweaty. Uh-uh. Don't go. Don't go. No. And maybe that is a better vlog than, uh, no. Sorry. 
Uh uh. No. Sorry. <laughs> and maybe that is a better vlog where, you know, things don't go perfect and I'm trying to figure out what to do. So, anyway, I just want to check back in with you guys every once in a while and, uh, yeah, hopefully get through this day <laughs> and just be really enjoying it and happy about it. Because I really think life is worth enjoying. So, I'll see you guys soon. So, I just finished praying. It was really helpful. And I'm still tired, but that's okay. Something on my heart is, you know, part of me is like, what if the videos won't help me? You know, what if making videos doesn't help me? But the truth is that the videos are a tool, and tools can be super helpful, super helpful. Um, and I'm not relying on the tools so much as a willingness. And if we have that willingness, you know, then yes, yeah, it will help us. And I guess I was thinking about how, you know, sometimes we need people, we need help. Um, sometimes, you know, God is enough, but He uses other people and other tools to help us. Um, sometimes it's not enough to just do it on our own. It's, it's, it is hard. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I was thinking about how, you know, in an ideal environment where I just had perfect support and people listening to me every time I had an emotion, I wouldn't need to make these videos. <laughs> but the truth is, and, and um, the videos are that support for me in a way. It's, it's my voice being heard and it's me reaching out for that support system it's not even that much of a support system it's, for me it's knowing that I'm not alone in the struggle like some, someone else out there is listening maybe this will help another person and that's enough for me to not feel alone and to feel motivated to keep going um, is that putting too much eggs in one basket? I don't think so I, something on my heart that God put, showed to me is that it is just a tool, and a tool, you know, it could be another thing that would help me, but there will always be, if you're willing and you, you really do want to get better, there will always be a tool out there that can help you, um, and you just have to learn to realize that it is a tool, it doesn't control you, um, and there's always something, you, you never have to give up hope, there's always something that can help you. I was journaling for a while. And it was helpful, but I realized I needed something else that would connect me to people in some way. And I know journaling could indirectly connect me to people because I was thinking about it being a book on how to sleep. <laughs> and obviously life issues would get in the way of sleep. But I think right now this YouTube thing just sounds like it would be much help, more helpful for me in doing journaling as well. But the YouTube, I think, will really help pull me along and I don't have to be afraid of that I think a lot of times I've just been afraid like it won't be enough it won't help me but it's enough if if it is enough <laughs> and if it isn't then I'll find another tool but there will always be some way that God allows us to be helped because he knows if we have willingness and we really want to draw near him I really want to draw near to God but sometimes I need help because it's overwhelming like I don't I don't always have that I don't always feel that support to come near to him and and also I've had a lot of history with God like um, being in a cult where it was really harmful so um, it's hard to draw near to him and I just think that for me like making a video and talking about it is super helpful um, and I don't have to be I guess I'm just trying to make this big just tell myself like I don't have to be afraid of using the video to help me like I'm using it as a crutch the truth is like I'm not even relying on an object I'm not even my camera was lost and I'm still making a video um, because there's always going to be a tool to help you no matter how far gone you are maybe if I was on an island 
Well, A, I would have lots less destruction, or lots less um, distractions. So that's a tool, <laughs> you know? And I wouldn't have a computer to record videos, but, you know, there would be something else that could really help me. And I think, like, God uses things around us that can help us. Um, it might not be a person, because, to be honest, I think the kind of support I need, it's not going to be fully gained by one super understanding, perfect person. <laughs> and I'm, I, sometimes I would look for that in a spouse. Like, I need the spouse that will cure me. But um, I think that God is more creative than that. And there's so many things that can help. And I'm just trying to have that hope. Like, yeah, recording this video can really help me. Like, it's not, it's not just like, you know, like, it, it's, it can be really helpful for me because I can use it to help me. And I don't want to be afraid to rely on a tool because I'm not. I'm really relying on God. And He is the one who allows us to use things in our environment. And it might change tomorrow. Maybe I'll rely on a video camera. <laughs> I guess that's the same thing. But anyway, it just gives me a lot of hope because it makes me realize... Um, and I think that's what tools are for, is in a way gives us hope, because there's always a way to God, um, you know, there's always things that can help you, for me this seems like it would be really helpful, and again, I feel so weird talking about it, because I'm like, oh, I'm just setting myself up for failure, because I'm relying on a silly video, but it's not silly, and at the same time, I think, how awesome is it that I'm putting myself out there, putting my thoughts out there, um, and really, this is really my desire to just pull through and move forward, and I'm just gonna leave it at that, <laughs> and I just, you know, I was praying about it, and I was like, you know what, God, like, there is a lot of things I don't feel I can do, I don't feel I can set aside a time every day to pray to you, and I think that's hard for me because of my background, um, being super strict when it comes to things, and especially time with God. But one thing I can do is I can reach out and make a video and have it make me feel, I can feel like I'm being supported. And, you know, then I can listen to my heart and see what my heart tells me to do. A lot of times my heart is like, yeah, I want to spend time with God. But it's a, overcoming that initial barrier um, and sometimes just feeling alone, feeling like overwhelmed, and when you just say it aloud and you, you, you feel like it's helping someone, you feel like you're, you know, you're giving yourself space to breathe and to talk, um, I think that can be super helpful, and, um, you know, it could, the tool could change, <laughs> and that's okay, there's always going to be another tool to help, I know that, and I just have to not feel bad that I'm using the video or not be afraid um, because I'm really not the end goal is not the video or whatever it's mainly it's what I'm saying <laughs> what I'm talking about is what's helping me and however I do that is okay and I am super excited about the video because I honestly believe in my heart um, I have so much hope that yeah it is going to help me um, and it is a really great way to include people in your journey and to reach out when sometimes you don't know how to do that. I'm not going to lie, like, this tool seems really awesome to me because, um, I don't really know who to reach out to. I don't really know how, um, I can and at the same time I feel this is helping me to, um, gain that independence and freedom within myself that I don't have to depend on it, um, you know. It's like I'm getting it from people, but at the same time, I'm. It's super empowering, and I and I think this will encourage me to reach out to people as well. Um, but most importantly, just really a journey in my own mental health. Um, and I do think it's a little bit hard with people sometimes to do exactly what I want to do with this video, which is just basically talk about emotions and really um, following me through my day and and my questionings and really trying to live abundant life and uh, I just have a lot of hope that this will help and that anything can help when you really when you really want help so yeah there's my little rant for now and I had a great time with God 
and I'm going to try and make a video about this at the end of the day. And for now, I'm just going to take it easy and see what my heart has made me do. And, but I think that was a big thing in my heart is just letting go of that fear. And I think I still have it. I'm going to pray about it. But letting go of that fear that, that there's nothing that can help me and that this video can help me. And, and just overcoming that discouragement because um, the truth is like discouragement is not from God. Again, I just realized I have green smoothie on my nose, but I left it for for the video because I thought it was kind of funny. Anyway, um, I had a green smoothie, which is really awesome because um, it's good. It will help me feel better. Usually, it does. It has lots of good stuff in it. Um, and while make after I made it, I spilled over a lot of the smoothie stuff, which made me realize that I'm very tired today, and I'm not sure how much cleaning or even laundry I should do when I'm that tired, because I tend to drop stuff, and <laughs> it's not the best thing. And speaking of tired, this one guy is tired too, if you can see him. He's so clean. He was playing with his friend all weekend and uh, apparently beat up on a poor little puppy dog. So sometimes I get anxious about things like that and I wonder like, is he ever going to get better? Um, you know, obviously it's less stressful because I wasn't there to see it. Um, and I'm just going to pray to God that he helps me be wise in how to deal with, with my dog. and. Also, um, just in helping my dog as well to respond. So, yeah. And otherwise, though, I'm doing, I'm doing well. And spoke to a few people. And I was hoping to speak to my boyfriend, but I wasn't able to. And just trying to enjoy this evening. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go to bed, like, super early. Maybe I'll, like try and be in bed by 8 o'clock or 8.30, be asleep by 8.30 or bed by 8.30, maybe I shouldn't make rules for myself, <laughs> but I'm just sort of going to try and stay up till then and just take it easy because um, I was going to take a nap earlier, but I was like, you know what, um, probably better to just have a good night's sleep, so that's my plan, and um, feeling really good, um, yeah, just a lot of hope, and um, I'm just feeling really happy um, that uh, I know God's with me, and I know that this is a tool that can help me. So, yeah, I'm just really grateful for YouTube, for computers, and for my little dog, and, and uh, yeah, otherwise, um, just going to try and relax and uh, maybe look into my package because I know I have to pick up the package um, that way I won't be stressed about what I need to do and everything else that I sort of on my list to do it can wait um, so and it's not stuff that is the end of the world so that's always helpful and yeah that's all for now <laughs> This is probably the record number of times I made a video, um, but I decided to come eye rest and all, because I'm having trouble sleeping. I've been in bed for a while now, and um, yeah, I guess something is troubling me, so I was thinking I would record it. Um, oh, my throat hurts. I know I'm very tired, um, but the first thing I think I need to do is just stop beating myself up for being tired and not being able to sleep, because I know that um, it's it's really not the solution. Um, it will help me sleep better, <laughs> and the reality is that more important than sleep is. <laughs> For me, it's 
um, yeah, being close to God. And that's why I'm making this video when I could just stay in bed and keep wishing I was asleep. <laughs> but you know what? There's more important things than sleep, even when you're dead tired. <laughs> and obviously my heart is trying to tell me something. Um, I would say I'm just thinking about a lot of things related to the wedding. Things I said, things I wish I would have said. Things I want to say for Marge's wedding. And I think sometimes, you know, we can always look back and think, oh, you know, this person must think greatly of me, or oh, this person must not think greatly of me. Um, but at the end of the day, I think both are a little bit of a trap because. Honestly, we're all human. We all say things, um, maybe not the right way. And the important thing is that to remember that we're all human and we all make mistakes. And it's not even a mistake this time. But we don't need to take our self worth on what someone else thinks of us. And it's hard, especially at a wedding, you know, I was on the, in front, um, because I was a bridesmaid, I was in the mic a lot, and I was like, really nerve-wracking, and also, um, really, like, hard, because I feel it takes confidence, and I didn't always feel that confident, <laughs> but the reality is that life goes on, and their opinions in me is not what's going to help me keep moving on on my journey. Um, I have to trust that I'm doing okay and I'm on my way. And the most important thing is God. And He, you know, I just felt so strongly when I was in the church uh, for the rehearsal ceremony. Sorry. Um, I just felt so strongly God saying to me, You've come such a long way. And it's easier to try and look at ourselves through other people's eyes and think, oh, they must think this of me or that of me. But only God really knows us. And only He really knows how far we've come. And everything. So if He's telling me He's so proud of me, um, and He knows how, how far I've come from, I really want that to be the thing that's in my heart. The thing that comforts me and warms me and the fact that you know what I don't know what everyone thought about me I don't know if I conveyed the right message even to my sister that I love her and maybe people thought I was great maybe they didn't you know my mom apparently thought I had lost me or that I looked skinny and because I don't get a lot of attention from my mom, I guess, I feel, or, I took that as, even though it's kind of negative attention, it was attention, and I don't, I don't even want to worry about that, you know, the reality is that, um, attention is just a trap, because, um, it's not what determines our self-worth, and people's reactions don't determine my self-worth and nor do their opinions and um, yeah I think that's what keeps me up at night <laughs> tonight and it's just like just thinking about what other people thought of me or what I did wrong or what I could have done better and I think it's hard enough when you have friends over you know when you or you had a deep a lot of interaction with someone for me anyway can be hard. I'll think afterwards what I should have said, what I could have said better. But I think it's like even ten times worse than when you're at a wedding and you're at the mic all the time. And sister of the bride. <laughs> so anyway, there's tons of things I know I could have done differently. But the reality is like, look how awesome it is that I'm recording this. And I really do believe things can only get better. Only get better. And... There's so much hope in making these videos and and really just seeking to live life abundantly. So I get a hold on to that hope today. Um, 
trust that everything will work out, and even though I'm tired, um, that God will just take care of me, whatever that looks like. If it means I wake up rested, if it means I wake up tired, but I'm able to make it through the day, or, you know, if it means I just don't go to work, like, it's really, it really is not, nothing's the end of the world, and I really want to remember that, because it, and nothing is the end of the world, and, you know, our value as a person is much more than what we've said, or, you know, whether I make money tomorrow or not, I don't want to add that extra pressure of, you know, um, the sleep and all that, so, anyway, <laughs> it's just a little bit of a rant, and for now, um, yeah, I think that's about it, um, and also for work, like, It is hard because I'm already really tired, but for the month of August, my schedule is basically a lot of morning shifts, but not enough for me, I feel, to make it a habit, but maybe I could try. So, anyway, that was hard for me when I read that so schedule today. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, it was hard. But even in that, I have to trust that it will work out. And I did see another job offer online that looks pretty awesome. I'm kind of close to what I'm doing, so I'm thinking I've applied to it. Um, otherwise, um, I don't really know. I feel like I'm ranting, but the reality is, like, it's not really a rant. If something's keeping you up at night, then, you know, like, and that's okay. <laughs> you deal with it and then you move on. But yeah. And uh and I read a verse in uh Song of Solomon. It was about um how I was asleep but my heart was awake and it reminded me that we're much more than physical. We have an emotional spiritual side, and, you know, that's why we wake up sometimes, <laughs> anyway, I'm done for now, but, hope you guys, if you're watching this at night, hope you have a good night.